Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about the oxidase test. So first, uh, before we talk about the procedure of the oxidase test, let's talk about some of the background theory. There is an enzyme known as cytochrome C oxidase and it is a, a, a really important enzyme in aerobic respiration. And that is because it accepts electrons as part of the electron transport chain. The oxidase test tests for the presence of cytochrome C oxidase. So the oxidase test uses this compound called tetramethyl p diamine. Here's a picture of it right here. It's commonly abbreviated as TMPD. So this comes from tetramethyl p diamine. If you've got some organic chemistry background, you know that um, tetramethyl refers to four methyl groups. Those are these four CH3 groups. The diamine is referring to the two uh, nitrogen components. Um, and then the, the P here is referring to the fact that they're on opposite sides of this benzene ring. So that's where we get that name. And so this TMPD serves as an artificial electron donor. So basically something that can donate electrons to um, this cytochrome C oxidase. And so what ends up happening is that the TMPD can change color. So what it does is it has electrons that it can donate to cytochrome C oxidase. And when it donates those electrons, it is oxidized. So in other words, when an electron is removed here, um, you've got loss of an electron that equals oxidation, so it's being oxidized. Uh, the cytochrome C oxidase is doing the oxidizing, it's gaining the electron, so it's becoming reduced, if you remember your redox reactions there. And so TMPD goes from being colorless, when it has all of its electrons, to turning into a blue-purple color. So sort of a bluish purplish color is what will happen once it's oxidized. And it's only oxidized when oxidase is present to take uh, that, to take those electrons. So if we have a color change in the oxidase test from colorless to blue purple, that means oxidase positive. In other words, that means that the bacterium is oxidase positive. It produces cytochrome C oxidase. Some examples of oxidase positive bacteria are Pseudomonas and Neisseria. Both of these kind, but both of these um, types of bacteria have various implications for human disease. And so that makes the oxidase test an important diagnostic tool to help doctors understand when a patient is infected with these kinds of bacteria. So now let's talk about the procedure for the oxidase test. You add the test solution, the TMPD, to a slide, and then transfer a colony from an auger plate into this TMPD. If that bacteria that's in that colony is oxidase positive, then you're going to see a really rapid color change um, from colorless to sort of a blue or a purple color. And this color changes very quick, five to 10 seconds, and that indicates the presence of oxidase, and so that's an oxidase positive result. If the TMPD remains colorless, then it would be oxidase negative. A couple of things to keep in mind. You want to do this step here, transferring a colony from the auger plate to the TMPD. Do that with like a sterile a wooden stick or a sterile plastic loop, not something that contains iron. So a wire loop, a metal loop, is going to contain iron and that can give a false positive. 
use of old reagents and also use of auger plates that have certain dyes in them can sometimes also give false positives. So it's important that you make sure that you're using the, the right kinds of equipment when you're doing the oxidase test. If you're interested in some of my other videos, you can check out my video on a catalase test, which is another important diagnostic tool um, that tests for the presence of catalase. If you want to learn more about enzymes like oxidase and catalase, you can check out my video on introduction to enzymes. And if you want to learn more about aerobic respiration and this electron transport chain, then you can check out my video on aerobic respiration. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching Biology Professor.